Okay, now let's talk a little bit about benchmarking. So we know what all of our figures are here. We know our uh, what our production profile is, how we're doing it, getting pounds of calf raised per female exposed, what all of our pregnancy percentages are. Uh, we know what our feed costs are through using this exercise, our livestock costs, and our overhead. So what's the value of benchmarking? Well, benchmarking helps you lay your numbers next to a data set of other numbers and identify areas where you're high cost and where you're low cost. So let me show you where to go for benchmarking. So the benchmarking data sets are posted on the Ranch Practicum website. So if we go to hpranchpracticum.com and then scroll down to the unit cost of production information and then we get to this site here where these videos are posted and then we can scroll down here and we see benchmark data sets. So here we've got Western Wyoming, Nebraska. We've got 24 ranches that are uh, 2008 and that was updated in January 2012. I update that data set every year as I get more uh, information added in there. And then another really good benchmarking set are the set out of North Dakota from the Farm Business Management Program set. Uh, but let's look at the Wyoming, Nebraska data set. So here we've got uh, 24 ranches in this data set, and this is cumulative data over a multiple year period of time. Uh, we've got an idea of the January 1 inventory of these ranches, and here's how this reads. The, the, here's the average of all the ones in the data set. Here's the lower 25%, so the lower quartile, the upper quartile, the max and the min of each data set. And then here's where I think it gets really interesting is we've lumped out of those 24 ranches. I've pulled out five ranches that I feel really exemplify high profit herds. And then we've got the other ranches are lumped into the mid-profit herds, and then the low five are pulled out and lumped into the low-profit herds. So we've got essentially groupings of profitability of these ranch data sets. So let's scroll down here and look at something that, that actually matters, and we'll pick on feed cost per cow. Um, well, actually, let's start here at the production side. We, pounds wean per female exposed. If we look at our five high-profit herds, 434 pounds wean per female exposed. Our mid-profit herds, 481, and our low-profit herds, 472. So this should really get you asking the question, how important is production on the ranch? Is it really all that important? Well, this data set would actually recommend that it's inversely correlated. The more production-oriented a ranch is, the more likely it is to be in the low-profit herds. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily go that far, but what I would say is there really is not very much correlation between production of the ranch, you can have low production ranches that are highly profitable and you can have high production ranches that are not very profitable. The inverse can actually be true as well. Uh, but my, my take home is I really don't get too hung up on the production level of the ranch. What really makes the difference is the cost structure of the ranch. So lay your numbers on here, see where you fall, uh, and, and then move on down to your cost side. Okay, gross income, we've got some numbers there that you can look at. What I like to get at are these numbers in feed cost. Looking at just pasture cost per cow, we see that the high profit ranches actually pay more. Having a hard time getting that highlighted. The high high profit ranches actually pay more in terms of pasture cost than the than the low profit ranches. Why is that? Well, they generally graze out longer, feed less harvested feed. So uh, they're going to pay more to their land business per cow. Okay. Pasture maintenance cost, hay cost per cow. Here's an interesting one to look at. We see that our high profit ranches have a very low hay cost per cow, where the low profit ranches generally have, that's, that's double the cost of the high profit ranch, hay cost per cow. So uh, here's a rule of thumb is generally the higher profit ranches feed less hay per cow or other harvested feeds. So we get down here to the total total feed costs and we see that our high profit ranches have a smaller total feed cost per cow by the, almost $100 from our low profit ranches. So you can look at these other things like vet expenses, breeding, marketing, heifer development, bull depreciation, paid labor, all these, all these types of things and again our high profit ranches have lower overall costs than, than our low profit ranches. Overhead, same thing. High profit ranches have lower overhead per cow than the low profit ranches, although not to that large a degree. So here's the bottom line. Total income per cow. Okay, There's our total income. Again, not a lot of difference. They're talking gross income. We're talking production. Uh, when we look at costs, that's where the big difference come in. Our high profit ranches tend to have lower costs 
than our low profit ranches. Returns per cow, the high profit ranches are making about $160 per cow and the low profit ranches are losing a little bit on, on each on each cow. Unit cost of production. Again, this was back in 2010. These are kind of heavily weighted that direction. Our high profit ranches are around $92 per hundred weight of steer calf or 92 cents per pound of calf and our low profit ranches are $117 or a buck seventeen. So, and and of course the middle bunch is in the in the middle there. So, uh, that kind of gives you a range. And and really the big benefit here is to lay your numbers against these. Uh, take a green highlighter, mark the numbers that you're doing well, where your costs are low or your production is high, and then take a red highlighter and mark the numbers where your costs are higher uh, than than whatever set you want to compare yourself against, and uh, then come up with a management plan to address those things. And that's really the value of doing a cost of production analysis on your cow-calf enterprise.